The next feature I want to show you is Funnel Cut Pro 10.4.4's new video noise reduction effect. Previous to this release, noise reduction could only be accomplished using expensive third-party plugins. Let me show you how it works. Here's a clip from my daughter's wedding that would present a challenge to any noise-reducing algorithm. First, it was shot on an old iPhone, at night with lots of movement in the frame. Now the way I would approach a shot like this is to deal with the exposure and color issues first, then apply the noise reduction filter. I'll select the clip, then press Option Command B to apply the auto balance correction. Open the inspector, then use the white balance picker to choose a range of white pixels. That looks good, but the exposure and color needs a few tweaks. I'll press Command 6 to add a color board corrector, Bring up the midtone exposure just a bit, then jump into the color board and add a touch of red back into the highlights. Now, before I add noise reduction, I'll zoom in a bit so you can see all the blocky noise in the couple's face and skin, and in the ground behind them, and in the black area around the sparklers. With the clip selected, I'll press Command 5 to reveal the effects browser, select the basic category, then double click the icon to apply the noise reduction filter, then close the window. In the inspector, the effect is listed below the color corrections I applied, but it could be moved up or down in the list to change the processing order. There are two simple controls, one for amount and one for sharpness. Out of the box, a medium amount of noise reduction is applied. I'll boost this to high, then pan around the image. The macro blocking that was really evident has been softened and blended with the pixels that have more data. I'll toggle the effect on and off so you can see a before and after. If you scrub the playhead over the clip, the filter is temporarily disabled until you park the playhead. Then the clip is analyzed and the effect is applied at that frame. So when you're scrubbing, you're looking at the clip with noise, then when you release your mouse, no noise. Or I should say, reduce noise. There's also a setting for sharpness that will compensate for the inherently soft look the effect produces. I found that a setting of medium works well, but beyond that, the image starts to look really processed. You'll need to render the clip, and typically noise reduction is very graphics processing intensive. I'm rendering Final Cut Pro 10 on an iMac Pro with 16 gigabytes of VRAM. This six second clip took about a minute to render. Keep in mind that the rendering will only be applied to the portion of the clip you're using in the timeline, not the entire clip. I'll play this clip back, and the bystander shouting mirrors my own emotional response to this new effect. There's also a dedicated noise reduction effect engineered specifically for 360 clips so as to prevent noticeable transitions around the seam line. This particular 360 clip was shot close to evening on a very cloudy day, so not very much light for those twin GoPro sensors to capture. I've already applied the effect, as you can see in the inspector, using the maximum amount of noise reduction. I'll move the playhead to a section where you can see a lot of the grassy area. And just so you can see how much noise the effect removed, I'll toggle the effect on and off. Notice as I move around the sphere in the 360 viewer, the effect is seamless. I'll play back the clip as the camera flies over the water. It's super noisy. Toggling the effect on does a really good job of cleaning up most of the noise. Keep in mind that even the best noise reduction filters can't invent data that isn't there. Only mask it with some creative blurring. For an effect with only two controls, it's Apple simple and I'll be using it quite a bit on my projects.